No problems are being reported from the crew. And initiate O2 flow. This test team has worked really hard to get you to this point. It's your turn for a great 16-day mission. We're closing our visors, and uh, we can't wait to get to work. Yeah, let's go for ET LAT2 pressurization. T minus one minute, 45 seconds, and counting. Launch operations continue to go well this morning as the Space Shuttle Columbia soon will begin its 16-day mission to continue microgravity research. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. And we are transferring to orbiter in internal power at this time. Columbia is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up for a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's, Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20. T minus 15 seconds. 12. 10. 9. 8. 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. And liftoff, liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia, catapulting scientific knowledge through microgravity research. We're in a row, Houston. Houston now controlling Columbia underway on its 18th trip to space, rolling on course for a 172 mile high, 39 degree inclination orbit. And roll program. Columbia's altitude, 15,000 feet. Three engines on board Columbia are now throttling back to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Columbia's speed now 800 miles per hour, altitude 34,000 feet, three nautical miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia, go ahead, throttle up. Oh, we heard you that time, Blaine. Go ahead, throttle up. Three main engines on Columbia now back at full throttle. Columbia is now airborne for one and a half minutes. It's burned almost two and a quarter million pounds of propellant already, weighing less than half of what it did at launch. Three main engines on Columbia working well at full throttle. Good hydraulic systems, good electrical systems. Altitude now 100,000 feet. 14 miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling 2,800 miles per hour. Flight controllers are standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket first stage, upcoming in just about eight seconds. Good solid rocket booster separation is confirmed. Columbia now on its three main engines, second stage. Altitude 185,000 feet, 38 nautical miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling at 3,500 miles per hour, continuing in a steep climb. Columbia, performance nominal. Performance nominal. That call to the spacecraft indicates that performance of the first stage solid rockets was just as planned. Columbia, two engine Ben Guerrier. Two engine Ben. 
and uh, Columbia can now perform an emergency transatlantic landing at Ben Gurr, Morocco, if required. All systems continue to be go. Altitude 250,000 feet, downrange from Kennedy Space Center, about 65 nautical miles.